Hey everyone and welcome to OBS today. It is a very big day because our next online Bible study begins today, June 28th. Get out of your head. We kicked off today, so it's not too late to sign up, but my friend Wendy and I are here to explain how OBS works, but also just chat about what we'll be learning in this study, and we're very excited about it. And so, Miss Wendy, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. I love the Monday after. We just finished our She Speaks conference, and I just love the Monday after she speaks because we've just gotten to spend so much time together as a team and to interact with um, the people who went to the conference because it was online this year and meet our donors and spend time with them. So it's been a great weekend, but I'm tired. So no one <laughs> I'd rather be than with all of you when I'm tired. <laughs> It's so true. It was um, a lot of fun activity. And so everyone, we would love to know what did you do this past weekend? Did you hang out with friends? Did you just take some time to read a book by yourself? What did you do this weekend? And then also we would love to know if you have ever participated in online Bible studies before, what is your favorite thing about OBS? And so go ahead and write that in the chat as well. And Wendy, while they do that, what's your favorite thing about online Bible studies? Okay, can I cheat and have two? <laughs> so the first one is, um, of course, the OBSers, because I just love, I wrote down, when you told me I would have to ask, answer this question, I wrote down they're encouraging, Mm -hmm. They're so enthusiastic about studying God's word, and they also are just really hungry to have a deeper faith. So I love that. But my, number, my other one is I just love our staff. I love working. I can't believe I get to work with the people I do. Yes, I, I completely agree with you. I think when I came on staff with Proverbs 31, I didn't know much about online Bible studies. And so what's really neat from my perspective is just seeing the love that people have and people continually come back. And then not only do they come back, but sometimes they want to volunteer with us as well. And so just getting to know the volunteers and just all the workings of online Bible studies is a lot of fun. And then seeing people's stories. We get emails and messages all the time about how a specific book or topic or conversation we've had on a, on a Facebook Live has really met the person where they are. And so those stories are just fun to read about how God really does intertwine us. Um, and it's just really, really neat. So lots OBS of, is a very special of, place. Lots of divine appointments, I think. Yes, that's a good way to put that. Lots of divine appointments. So let's see what some um, lovely ladies are saying. Well, first, Belinda, this is her first online Bible study with us. And so oh, Belinda, welcome. We're so excited that you're here. Um, let's see, what did other people say? Oh my goodness, Krista, this is her first online Bible study too. Well, Krista and Belinda, since this is your first one, uh, I wanna challenge you to read the chat because as people write their favorite thing about online Bible studies, maybe it'll make you even more excited for what you're about to experience. So um, that'll be a fun place to see that. So while y'all write your favorite thing about OBS, we wanna talk a little bit about what we're going to be experiencing through Get Out of Your Head by Jenny Allen. And so um, this week we're reading chapters one through three. And one of the things that we will read by Jenny, she says this, the average person has more than 30,000 thoughts per day. And can we just pause? And doesn't that sound exhausting? <laughs> like 30,000 thoughts. Like I can't even imagine what that is, but I'm sure it's true. And then she goes on to say, of those 30,000 thoughts, so many are negative that according to researchers, the vast majority of the illnesses that plague us today are a direct result of a toxic thought life. That was, that was really powerful. And what was more powerful is on her video with you this morning, mm -hmm. how she said she thought hers were up to 60,000 thoughts. Like that's like, wow. It just means our thoughts are constantly moving and working and going. Our brains are always working. <laughs> Sounds exhausting. But one of the neat things about this study is we can get overwhelmed with that statistic so much so that maybe we don't even want to deal with the thoughts that we're thinking because there's so many of them to deal with. 
But what Jenny does is we'll read this in this week's reading is she really just wants us to focus on the one thought that we think about the most. So how I, how I figured out what my thought was is it's the one I think about first thing in the morning and the one I think about before I go to bed. It's, um, it's the one that's consistently in the front of my mind. And so for me, my one thought that I have realized going through this book is what if I mess something up? And so I'm consistent. I'm always trying to figure out how to not mess up a relationship, a work project, um, my relationship with God. And so that's my one thought that while I read, get out of your head, I'm going to be working on not thinking that. And so Wendy, do you have anything that you want to add to the one thought, um, whole idea that Jenny brings in out of her book? Yeah. And I, because I've read it, I, I have one that I think it is, but there were other things in her book that I also was working on, but you're really making me want to take this week um, to think. Like, I think I know what it is, but I wanna make sure. Um, so I'm gonna just do the things that you've talked to us to do this week and um, just make sure that's what it is. Cause it is true, it can be, I have lots of thoughts that I could probably say, but we really working on one thought at a time is manageable and doable and trying, or maybe even two, but otherwise we get overwhelmed and we want to give up. Right, right. And we definitely don't want to give up in this online Bible study. It's going to be maybe easy to get behind just because life and it's summer here in the United States. And so maybe there's vacations going on, or, you know, maybe you have something going on in, in your neck of the woods. And so we might get behind, but the nice thing is all you need to do is really read the book, and um, just do it at your own pace, which is really nice as well. And so, Wendy, I know you have a neat perspective on this book because your daughter read it about a year ago. And so I would love for you to talk a little bit about Lauren and her experience with Get Out of Your Head. Well, she um, I think she's actually read a few of Jenny's books and she's 27. And I think my favorite thing about her going through the books is that uh, the book is that she has a lot of responsibility. She has a, a, like a job in a corporate headquarters for a big company. And what she said was she was getting a lot of anxiety and the book has given her tools and these tools, one of them, and I love this as her mom, is that she would, Jenny suggested taking time each day just to be quiet just to be still, to still her thoughts. And she took that to heart. And she would sometimes sit out on her little back patio and just be quiet. Sometimes she would just sit somewhere and listen to worship music, or she would open her Bible. But the, the point is, she gave her a tool and she used it. And she really noticed a difference over time. And she said that when those spiraling thoughts continue, even though she read the book a while ago, she is able to come back to it and use it and remind herself of some of the other practical tools. And that's why Jenny's book is so great because yeah. it's not just a lot of encouragement, a lot of scriptures, which is very important, but it's practical ways that we can actually do. And I wrote this down a few, few little words that she said that I want you to keep in mind as we begin, or if you're trying to decide if you want to begin, but the enemy wants to take us down. That's something she says often in the book because he hates those who love Jesus. And then she said, we have bountiful, powerful weapons to take our thoughts out and take the enemy down. We have divine power and authority. And I love that. And so those are the things we're gonna get to hold on to and utilize to take these thoughts out of our head and replace them with whatever is excellent, lovely, admirable, praiseworthy. Yes, so good, Wendy. Thank you for sharing that. And very similar to Lauren, I know this isn't necessarily a book that I'm going to give to my friend, like my copy. I will not be giving it to a friend because first, there's just a lot of underlines <laughs> and a lot of markings, um, but also, I, I want this to come back to you just in case, you know, I start spiraling, um, which can happen on the daily. And so it's just a nice book to have on your shelf at all times, just in case. And so 
with that, I would love to explain to y'all um, how OBS works. And for those of you that are first timers, hopefully this helps clear up any confusion you might have. And so I'm just going to explain what, what a week looks like in OBS. And so if you are signed up for the study, that means you go to our website, you put in your email, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you will get a blog post sent to your inbox. And so on Monday, the whole purpose to that blog post is to kick off your study, um, to kick off your week of study. And there's a video in there that me and Jenny Allen um, have made for y'all specifically. And so you can watch that when you have time. And then Wednesday, you'll open your email and you'll have another email from a study leader. And that just has some midweek encouragement in there for you. And it even has a bonus resource that Wendy is so close to, and it's called the Bible Study Companion. And the Bible Study Companion in its basic form helps take concepts we're learning in the book a bit deeper. And it's completely optional. It's a PDF and you can do it at your own time. But Wendy, is there anything you want to add about the Bible Study Companion that they'll find on Wednesday? No, not really, except just to thank you for sharing about it. And it really is just like a little mini Bible study every week if you like Bible study. Perfect. And then on Friday, you will get another email in your inbox and that's to wrap up the week. And then also it has a special message from Jenny Allen. It's a video that she made to accompany the study. It's about 17 minutes long, but it's Jenny really teaching on truth and speaking on truth. And okay. I think it's a really great week, really great way to go into your week, uh, weekend with the author just speaking into what we might be struggling with in our thought life. And so all that to say, the best thing you can do is sign up for the study and everything you need for a successful study will be sent to your inbox. And so that's how we like to do OBS here. We like to have um, encouragement on the front end of the week, in the middle of the week, and at the end of the week, because we know life is crazy. And our hope is that Bible study doesn't have to be as crazy as your life might be. <laughs> um, so anything else you want to add, Wendy, before we wrap up today's OBS Today episode? I just want to say, please, please join us. And like Kendra said, if you can't get everything done and you can't stay caught up, we always have three words here. We say grace, grace, grace. So yes. always have grace. We, we want you here. We'd rather have you here than not sign up because you don't think you can do it. At least try. Yes, exactly. And so everyone, I want to leave us today with something that Jenny um, says in her book. And um, she says this. The greatest spiritual battle of our generation is being fought between our ears, meaning our, our minds. What we believe and what we think about matters, and the enemy knows it. And he is determined to get in your head, to distract you from doing good, and to sink you so deep that, he, that you feel helpless, overwhelmed, shut down, and incapable of rising to make a difference for the kingdom of God. And so what we get to do through this study together over the next six weeks is ensure that we do rise to make a difference for the kingdom of God. And I think it's going to be a wonderful difference that we get to make all together as we study get out of your head. And so with that, everyone, we're excited for you to get started. Today is the first day. So if this is the first time you're hearing about it, you are not too late. In fact, you are right on time. And so go ahead, sign up for the study and we will see you guys not next Monday because we're observing July 4th in the United States, but we'll see you the following Monday at 9 a.m. right here to have another conversation. So I hope you guys have a fabulous week and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.